I was attracted to this house for a lot of reasons. One of them is the house itself, which is uh, unique to me. It's from, you know, the 1850s. It's the last of one of its type in Griffintown. It actually has, uh, I call it the John Moore house because he had it built and, you know, I can find that information out and I was I guess turned on by the history of the house and the neighborhood and having the Griffintown Horse Palace next door uh, was like being caught between uh, eras. I had, you know, the 19th century out my back and the 21st century with the skyline out my front. It was like the country and the city, I guess. I, I guess I hope someone who wants to use it is the buyer. Um, People ask me about speculators and developers and, and so on. And uh, I hope the buyer is someone who wants to live here, who wants to have a business here or live here and have tenants. When, when I moved down here, there was a lot of open space. And, and for a lot of neighborhoods, it, it is still a lot of open space. I shouldn't speak about it that way. It still has a lot of the things I love about it. The canal is right there. Um, uh, but there's, there's, something's been lost. It's not really what I think of as Griffintown anymore. It's something, something new. I can't control what anyone does, but I, I hope, uh, that they preserve it as much as possible as, uh, uh, a remnant of, of what this whole neighborhood was at one time um, and I think it's worth it's worth keeping.